It's Saturday night, Las Vegas. Superstar J-Lo sets the stage on fire. And who's watching from the VIP section? Her boyfriend, Alex Rodriguez, and his 12-year-old daughter, Natasha. Okay. That was that was the best show I've ever seen. No. The best. Really? And you were on firecracker. The two announced their relationship this past May and have been paparazzi gold ever since. Snapped while on vacation in France, cruising in the car. Oh yes! and all over New York and Florida. Jennifer's an amazing person. She's the hardest working, but I think she has like 10 jobs. Hardest person. She's making you look lazy. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Thousand something people in here every night. Good show, baby. Oh, oh there he is, the man of the hour. <laughs> look, she loves sports. She's an athlete herself. A great mother, great daughter, great friend. We all came to know Alex Rodriguez as that home run hitter on the Yankees. He's out. A record suspension tonight for baseball star Alex Rodriguez. Later embroiled in a performance enhancing drug scandal that rocked the end of his baseball career. I did take a banned substance. You know, for that, uh, I'm very sorry and deeply regretful. Now he is in what he calls his second I act. Oh! Analyzing plays on Fox Sports. That's the size of an NFL tight end, but he moves around like a shortstop. Guest appearing on Shark Tank. Uh, I understand athletes. And going all in on his multi-million dollar real estate empire, purchasing his own UFC gym, and joining ABC News as a contributor. But his number one job? Doting dad to 12-year-old Natasha and eight-year-old oh, oh. Ella. <gasps> At home, he's just a regular guy, but outside, He'll always be. What's up? This is the best part of retirement. But he isn't Cheers. too famous to embarrass his daughters. What boys? I don't know. What boys are we talking about? Should I go meet all of them? I want all them boys to know who daddy is. He's come a long way from his very humble beginnings in Miami. Poor, raised by a single mother who inspired him to work hard. After school, one of my parents' friends, they would pick me up and dropped me off where my mother was a waitress at. And, uh, and then I would get home around midnight with her. I would count her tip money. I would help her raise the mattress and put her tip money under the mattress. This place is very special to me. It was at this Boys and Girls Club that Rodriguez learned to play, and it became his ticket out. I was a scholarship kid, which meant three things. I had to be a good kid, I had to get good grades, and I had to play pretty good baseball. But it was on this field that A-Rod became a household name. Are there moments that kind of sit heavier than others? It's hard not to think about all the great times, right? Uh, all the, the great wins, the walk-offs, um, the fans going crazy. His talent and drive making him unstoppable. Some play by Alex. Hitting almost 700 home runs helping usher his team, the New York Yankees, world champions for the 27th time, to a World Series win in 2009. That was the best time of my career. Shortly after, things came to a screeching and unforgiving halt. Yankee slugger Alex Rodriguez has been suspended. 211 regular season games. He was front and center in a major league baseball scandal over the use of performance enhancing drugs, admitting this to ESPN in 2014. I was young, I was stupid, um, I was naive, and, and I wanted to prove to everyone that, you know, I was worth, um, you know, and being one of the greatest players uh, of, of, of all time. And uh, I, did, I did take a banned substance. But that only came after multiple denials, as he did here on 60 Minutes. For the record, have you ever used steroids, human growth hormone, or any other performance enhancing substance? No. Have you ever been tempted to use any of those things? No. Would you handle those interviews differently today? Oh, there's no question about it. I, I would, Sarah, and you know, when I look back, there's a lot of things I would have done differently. I look back at some of those interviews and, and cringe. I learned that it's not just about hitting home runs 
and winning games that matters. It's how you behave in the clubhouse, how you behave out in the world, uh, what kind of father and role model you are. I think I'll be able to look back at the darkest moments of my life, which were those, and think that it's one of the biggest blessings in my life as, as I kind of move forward. Alex says that it was his family who helped him through. Thank you very much. He and his ex-wife of nine years, Cynthia Scrutus, have come a long way from their yeah. contentious divorce. Hi, beautiful. This one doesn't stop. I she looks so incredible, right? Fresh off the plane from JLo's Vegas show, the whole show, she they like, spend the day together. Hi, Fosh Bosh. From the beginning, we always put the kids first so that they would grow and have emotional wellness and not feel a lot of the tugging that you see sometimes that happens in families that are divorced. But the kids have some complaints. He does a lot of funny things, but like they're mostly like sometimes embarrassing. He can't dance or sing for his life, but it's funny when he does. While there have been momentous highs and dark lows in his life, Alex says it's made him a better man, father, and role model. You know, I think everything happens for a reason. Sure, there's some regrets along the way, but I think, uh, you know, you don't have to be defined by those mistakes. Yeah, how you come back matters too. <laughs> for Nightline, I'm Sarah Haynes. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.